there are many myths about Jesus. In these programs, we're exploring the facts behind the myths. The central claim of the Christian message is that Jesus is the Son of God. The last myth we want to look at says that it took many years for people to start believing this. What does the evidence say? The earliest, by common consent, the earliest Christian texts that we have are uh, the letters of Paul. Uh, the undisputed letters of Paul take us back to within about uh, 20 years or so, 20 to 25 years after the, uh, after the death of Jesus. That is somewhere between 50 to 60 AD. And already in these letters, um, the, Paul presupposes that he and his readers in a, in a variety of locations uh, appeal to Jesus in worship, uh, sing hymns to him, um, invoke him to constitute their sessions, uh, offer prayer jointly to God and to him and to God in Jesus' name, and in a whole variety of ways treat him as a recipient of their devotion, uh, like, like the devotion that they offer to God. Um, so he has been in sort of, as I've said, enfranchised or incorporated within their devotional practice in quite a an astonishing sort of way. The point is, as you say, uh, Paul presupposes that this is relatively uncontroversial among all the different churches that he that he writes to. So, however and whenever this arose, it had to have come into being and become ubiquitous, it seems, or rather widely spread in early Christian circles, easily within the first 10 to 20 years after Jesus' uh, execution. We can easily miss just how strange it was for a group of Jews who believed there's only one God to start believing that Jesus was the Son of God. So why did Jesus' followers believe this? Not, not necessarily in the order of importance, but in the order of sequence. There's the impact of Jesus' own ministry, who clearly made himself controversial and clearly became, in some sense, the issue even during his own ministry. Um, as I say, when, when you when you generate a following of people who are willing to leave their pastimes, their, their families, their livelihoods, and join you in an itinerant ministry on the one hand, and on the other hand, you get uh, uh, community and religious leaders and even government leaders convinced that they must execute you. That's what I would call a fairly polarizing effect. And, uh, and so although Jesus' own min uh, message is about the kingdom of God, he clearly became the issue. Uh, and so that's a contributing factor. Uh, as well, one of the contributing factors is uh, the Jewish religious setting, which a very strong emphasis on what we call monotheism or a very strong emphasis on protecting the uniqueness of God and most particularly in worship practice. This is evident there as well. Early Christians reject all other uh, deities. They reject the whole idea of apotheosis of the deification of human beings. And so that means that whatever is going on in their treatment of Jesus, it isn't what they understood to be uh, a Roman type apotheosis of a hero, it's something else. So that's kind of another factor that's you know shaping it in a particular way. I've also proposed that one of the strong factors that seems to have generated um, the kind of practice that we have in, in, in the New Testament uh, is um, very powerful religious experiences, to describe it in a kind of phenomenological way. Experiences which they took to be encounters with the risen and glorified Jesus, uh, which they took to be perhaps prophetic oracles uh, from God, and uh, various kinds of experiences that struck them with the force of revelation, of divine uh, compulsion, you might say. Uh, requiring them uh, to reverence Jesus in the way in which they did. That is, I'm, I'm convinced that they, they did not do it and would not have done it uh, by some act of experimentation, uh, but did, it, uh, did what they did to Jesus only because they felt God required them to do so. So then we have to say, well, how, how could they have derived that conviction? I mean, I, I, I propose, well, through uh, various religious experiences which they took as God conveying this conviction to them. The idea that it took many years for people to start believing that Jesus was the Son of God is a myth. The fact is that his first followers believed it from a very early stage. This was the heart of their message. Next time, we'll explore what difference Jesus makes to us today.